Hey, this is Eric Matisoff, and my role at Adobe is as the Principal Evangelist for Analytics and Data Science. Today, I'll be showing you some more ways to adjust the settings of your components here in Adobe Analytics Customer Journey Analytics. Today, when we take a look at our project, you'll note that we have somewhat of a pesky value here, this no value. And this is very similar to those of you that have been around since uh, the analysis workspace and Adobe Analytics days, then it's very similar to that concept of unspecified. It's basically saying that we're capturing some data where this particular dimension didn't have a value. And so what we're saying is there's no value for this dimension that aligns with these 21 events that occurred. Well, guess what? Within our data view settings here in Customer Journey Analytics, we can go ahead and quickly uh, align with different no value options. So if we wanted to, we could actually change the, the wording there. If we were feeling nostalgic, we could change it to unspecified, click save, and see our Luma fixed data view is updated. And you can see I've got side by side panels here. This focuses on the Luma fixed data view. This is the original one in which I'm not editing the data. So go ahead and um, just simply refresh our components and then refresh our project. And look at that, we're back to good old traditional Adobe Analytics where we have unspecified instead of no value. But what if instead of changing that value, we actually wanted to remove it altogether? Then we can go back into our settings for our dimensional, dimensional component and say, don't show it by default and click save once again, go back over into our project, refresh our components and refresh our project. And look at that. Now there's neither no value nor unspecified. Hopefully that's helpful for you as you're cleaning up and making your data and customer journey analytics even prettier. Thank you.